Hi everybody and welcome to the Rat and Roll YouTube channel. You're here with Lizzie. Um, I'm usually doing the forest fun sessions and creating lots of fun and excitement in our outdoor space with my son Rex. But now I have got a new mission for Rat and Roll and that is to see how many different places I can find to read a story. I love reading stories and it makes it all that more exciting if you can find different and wonderful places to read them. In my last video, you may have seen it already, I found a rather unusual place to read my story. Can you remember where it was? That's right, it was in the shower. Today I've come back outside and I'm sat on my patio to read a story, surrounded by these beautiful flowers um, and a beautiful sunny evening. And the story that I've chosen to read you today, whilst I'm sat on my patio, is Harry McClary and Zachary Quack and it's written and illustrated by Lindley Dodd. It was drowsily warm with dozens of bees, lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McClary decided to choose a place in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back when... Pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip round the corner came Zachary Quack. Who wanted to frolic and footle and play. Harry McClary skidaddled away. Over the lawn an asparagus bed went Harry McClary to hide in the shed. He lurked in the shadows all dusty and black but Pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip round the corner came Zachary Quack. Out of the garden and into the trees jumped Harry McClary with springs in his knees. He hid in the grass at the side of the trap, but can you guess what happened next? Pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip round the corner came Zachary Quack. Down to the river, through willow and reed, raced Harry McClary at double the speed. Into the water he flew with a smack, but... <clears throat> Pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip round the corner came Zachary Quack, who dizzily dived in the craziest way, whirling and swirling in showers of spray. Harry McClary was off in a flash, a flurry of bubbles, a dog paddle splash. He swam to the side and floundered about. He tried and he tried, but he couldn't climb out. Scrabbling upwards and slithering back when... Pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip through the water came Zachary Quack, who sped round a corner and, showing the way, led Harry McClary up, up and away. Then, short, soggy and shivering, back up the track, went Harry McClary with Zachary Quack. It was drowsily warm, with dozens of bees, lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McClary decided to choose a place in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back. tucked up together with Zachary Quack. And did you notice in that story the place in the shade that Harry McClary chose was lazily buzzing with bees? And if you listen very carefully, you might hear some bees buzzing around me at the moment. Can you hear any? There's a couple, aren't there, buzzing around. So that story was Harry McClary and Zachary Quack, written and illustrated by Lindley Dodd. And I chose to read it this time on my patio outside. It's a place in the shade, you might say. Thank you very much for um, joining me for my story today. I wonder what interesting, exciting, unusual place I can find next time to read a story. See you soon. Bye.